It's Beer O'Clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brewdog and it's their Future Proof West Coast IPA. And it's a collaboration with Modern Times Beer in America. It's a 440 milliliter can coming in at 6.2% ABV. There's a look at the wrap. I've got no idea what to expect from this beer. No idea at all. Let's just get it out into a glass, see what we get. Little bit of smoke on the can opening. This beer launched over the weekend in Tesco as one of their ex exclusive beers. It's been brewed for Tesco. If you go to a large Tesco store, one of their extra stores, you will find it. It's about, well, it's three pounds a can. It is in Cardiff anyway, where I picked this up. It might slightly vary if you if you live in London or, or, or whatnot. Two finger white head. Good levels of carbonation, a very clear looking beer. Uh, let's get the aroma. West Coast IPA. There is a hop aroma coming through. It's a real kind of, I mean, it's not a perfumed aroma. It's not filling the room with, with aroma. Um, there's quite a bit of malt in there as well. Of course, I mean, it's going to be malt. It's, it's, it's a malt, it's a beer. It's made with malt, yeah? But, but I'm looking for hops, really. They call it a West Coast IPA. Unless it's all kind of crammed in and hidden, which you, you, you sometimes get from these American beers then. I don't know. It's a little orangey, it's a little kind of grapefruity if you like. Let's dive in. Cheers. I'm going to go in again. Uh, initial thoughts were waiting for something to happen, waiting for something to happen. Ah, something's happening. A little bit of orange and then pff, not much else. There's a little bit of bitterness on the back of the palate, a small amount of bitterness. Um, I'm not sure. I, I'm... <laughs> Oh. oh my goodness me, um, there's a horrible astringency to this. A real kind of just a bitter, astringent bitter bitterness on the back end, but there's no, oh man, there's no like smashing you in the face. It's smashing you in the face with, with hops, but it's, there's no hop flavour, there's no, there's no, Grapefruit or pineapple or I think I don't know. I, I'm I'm wondering if because um, I'm going to be honest. I've just come off the back of the Brewdog Pale Ale review, and I picked up all of these new beers that are available in Tesco's. I got really excited that you know Brewdog have bre they, they they're brewing these beers and they're in Tesco's as three pound exclusives. The Brewdog versus Cloud Water. I absolutely loved. I thought it was a terrific, terrific beer. Um, but Brewdog have gone through a rebrand. They've gone through a rebrand. They they changed the. This is something else. This is this is what their kind of rebrand looks like these days. So Brewdog on the top, and and there's the there's the dog. Um, it's really disappointing. It's really really disappointing, and I'm I'm terribly terribly. I'm gutted. I'm absolutely gutted. I was I was excited, really excited. 
the Brewdog, I think the title of my Brewdog versus Cloudwater, same beer, same can, or same same, same company who was producing the beer, Brewdog. Um, I said that this is this beer will is a game changer for beer in the supermarket. Things are going to change. Um, people are going to be drinking really good beer, and I've got massive hope now for the craft beer actually breaking into the mainstream. That was last year. That was 2019. I'm reviewing this in 2020 if you're watching this in five five years in the future. Um, this, they called it Future Proof. The only thing they're Future Proof in here, Brewdog, with this beer is their failure. Is their absolute failure. This is, this is diabolical. This is absolutely diabolical. It's, it's not good enough. It's not worth the three pound. I, 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 half of me wants to go back to Tesco and ask them what they've sold me. How is this a West Coast IPA? How have they... I mean, do you know what annoys me the most is they've got this guy. I'm going to call him out. This Domo beers. He must have the taste buds of a... A mongoose or something. I, I, just... Just, he must have the taste buds of, of how bad, how, I mean, even YouTube censored these days. How, what can I, what can I say to, to sum up this, this Domo beers? He gets everybody excited on social media about these, these new drops, these new launches of, 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 of Tesco beers. And a lot of them. And I know they're brewed for a price. I know they're only three, I say only three pound a can. If you were to go to a bottle shop or a can shop, you might pay six, seven, eight pounds for a can of beer now. But that beer is generally absolutely fantastic. Brewdog, last year in 2019, they brewed a beer with cloud water for three pound a can, and it was out of this world. It was just one of the best beers that I've ever had for that price point, three pound a can. This is just, this is one of those three for a fiver beers. This should be under the three for a fiver, three for five pound, in a bottle. It's diabolical. Absolutely ruined my evening. It's absolutely, this beer, I sound like a whinging old man, but I've just picked up Brewdog's Pale Ale. Trash. I give it a 1 out of 10. I'll grab it. I give that beer a 1 out of 10. I just said it was almost kind of... I, I cannot believe Brewdog brewed this beer. This beer is just... Look at it. All you people out there who know how to brew, you've been drinking good beer for years, look at it. This is enough to to burst the bubble. When you when you you're in a massive love affair with craft beer, um, uh, or or you're getting into beer, this would be the worst thing. If you were getting into beer and somebody said, "Yeah, you want to spend three pound on this? It's fantastic." It would be enough to turn you back to to the bland rubbish. They've just become, Brewdog have just become very bland and very boring very, very quickly. Um, I, I don't know, I don't know. Very malty, real ma big kind of just malty sweet build to it. There's a little bit of orange peel, a little bit of f fleshy blood orange, there's a little bit of grapefruit, and then there's just like that astringent bitterness on the back end. I, I've, I've lost all enthusiasm. I, I, I could turn the camera off, I could walk away, and I could never upload a video to YouTube again off the back of this. If this is the future of beer, then I'm not interested. I'm really not interested. I'd rather do something better with my time. I'd rather, I don't know, go and play my Google Stadia. 
and this 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 is not entertaining for me anymore this is this is not fun reviewing beers like this that you think is going to be at least half decent it's not it's it's like it's like I've been punctured it's like I've been punctured and the air is coming out of me and I'm like falling down to the ground and it's not why I got into beer diabolical and I, I can't believe modern times Although I think they've been bought out by a massive company now as well, so they they they've got they've got their hand ties behind their back. They've got nothing to say either. Um, but I remember drinking Modern Times years ago, and it was terrific. It was amazing beer. Bought out, dumbed down. It's just they they future proofed Brewdog's future proof. That's the name of the beer. Of, of future proof their downfall that's what they've done they future proof their downfall that beer again is it a west coast ipa no nowhere near one out of ten one out of ten that's the second beer in a row from brood I've, I've given a one out of ten um, if you are in some kind of weird love affair with brood dog or if you were like me maybe years ago remember the good times remember how good it was when they first started producing beer um, and you still got a love affair with Brewdog and you commented saying how much of an idiot I am fair, fair enough you can say what you like you know I'm only giving my own opinions if you agree with me there we go fair enough as well but I don't know I got another beer now from Brewdog to review um, I'll probably post all these beer reviews this week to get them out onto YouTube um, the next one is Brewdog O slash g or o hyphen g or whatever the hell that is um og hazy new england ipa 7.2 percent abv i'm gonna i'm gonna hold back my reservations i'm gonna i, I i'm not gonna be I, I'm, I'm very at the moment i'm really angry and and i need five minutes to gather my thoughts and and reset because this beer might be amazing i'm not an unfair person I am not an unfair person. This might be an amazing beer. But if it's not, and it's quarter past eight in the evening right now, and my, my evening's blown to bits on a Monday, then, then oh my goodness me. It's like, I, I just want to drink good beer. I, want to, I, I don't want to drink this rubbish. If I wanted to drink this rubbish, I'd drive to Kent. One out of ten. Thanks for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.